welcome back to my channel. In today's video, yeah, we're going to be catfishing, okay? We're going to go from house girl to somebody's future CEO, okay? Somebody's like future wife, future mother, future everything. You know what I mean? I always start by priming my lids with the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Okay, next, S. Bundy's powder. I haven't really been using my Sasha Buttercup powder since I got this one because I feel like this gives you a very smooth finish, whereas sometimes the Sasha powder can sort of look a little bit cakey. For today's look, we're going to be using the Morphe 3502 palette. Look at that. Look at that. We're just going to start by using Brunette as our base colour. always start with a brown colour or a darker shade because I feel like it makes it easier to blend the makeup into my skin. Next we're going to go for this colour which is a darker shade in the palette. We're going to go in with Wiz. Wow, okay. I've never actually used this one before, you know. Wow. It's OVA the creator. Using the same concealer, so the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey. I'm just gonna go over it. I really love this color, like this color right here, the orange one. This looks so cute to me. Oh, I don't like this part. I feel like this part looks wayward. <laughs> It's like that wayward child in the family that just doesn't want to do the right thing. <laughs> I'm just going to go over it with this here, which is the brunette colour. Or the brunette eyeshadow. And I'm just going to go around the orange parts and see if I can just clean it all up a little bit. It's OVA the creator. So next we'll just go over it with the NYX eyeliner. I'm going to do this part off camera because I can't line my eyes on camera to save my life. I'll be right back. I think they look okay. It's the I'm just going to prep my face with the LA Girl Pro Prep Primer. Before I put on my foundation, I'm just going to go in with this. I like using this because it sort of blends out the dark spots on my skin. So I'm just going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And this one is in the shade 16N. We're just gonna highlight with the LA Girl Pro Prep Concealer in Warm Honey. I like to go over my nose with it as well because I feel like it gives me a slimmer nose. While I leave that to set, I'm going to contour. I'm going to try something different. So rather than contouring with a sleek contour kit, I'm going to contour with this palette right here. Like we're taking risks, okay? I'm going to start by contouring with this shade over here in the palette. It looks very dark doesn't it? it looks it looks very dark i like it though i have always wondered how my makeup would look if i just use like a darker contour shade I guess i'm about to find out I want to take it to the extreme a little bit by going in with the dark eyeshadow shade. And this is the one we used for the eyeshadows. I'm just going to tap it a little bit and then go over the contour shade with this just to see how it will look. I'm just going to contour my nose and to contour my nose I'm just going to be using the same sort of shade which is this one right here. Gosh it's so dark. The colour is just so dark. Wow.
To sort of blend everything, I'm just going to use the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder. I was locked up, they won't let me out, but you let me out. But I can't help you well, baby. I'll be highlighting with a Fenty Beauty highlighter. And I think I'm going to use the Moscow Mule. That has always been my fave, actually. But this is the Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer. I'm just gonna go over the highlight with it. I'm just gonna put on the Fenty Beauty lip gloss because I am absolutely in love with it. And that's literally the only thing I, I use these days. And voila, this is the finished look. I started off not knowing what the hell I'm doing, but I actually like this look. I feel like it's actually cute. Let me know what you think. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.